time to discover what this huge open world has to offer. I'm back in New York City, and we've joined some friends for a free flight session in co-op. Let me show you what this Zivco Edge 540V3 has under the hood. This light plane is the star of many air races and aerobatic shows around the world, and right here in Motor Nation. That's another one of the Crew 2 innovations. Not only does it offer an incredible variety of disciplines, but each gameplay has its specificities and unique appeal. By the way, you can instantly switch between ground, water, and air vehicles with our brand new Fast Fave feature. This allows you to fully enjoy all the new perspectives the Crew 2 has to offer using only one button. From the top of buildings to the bustling city streets below or the busy waterways, the whole of the USA is ready for you to explore. Now you might have noticed I keep scoring points here. That's what we call dynamic freestyle. Every stunt and feat achieved anywhere in the open world will contribute to your overall progression in the game. Doing aerobatics tricks, car and bike stunts, or just speeding up on your boat, literally anything you can show off will get you closer to becoming a renowned champion of Motor Nation. Now it's time to race in the great outdoors. This is Rally Raid, an off-road discipline focus. The objective here is simple. Get from point A to point B as quickly as you can by making your way through muddy tracks, rocks, and vegetation. And of course, the organizers at Live have added their two cents to the challenge by throwing in a few surprises. The buggy A1 is a perfect choice for that challenge with its bouncy suspension, unconventional look, and easy handling. After all, Rally Raid is all about enjoying total freedom to choose your path, to test the limits of your environment, and the pure fun to go full speed into the wild. Now I'm excited to share with you how we'll be dominating the waterways in Jet Sprint. This will have you slaloming and jumping into swampy waters in tiny but highly responsive boats. As you might have guessed, this gameplay is a bit more challenging than the ones I've been introducing so far. Right now, we're having it pretty easy, but you'll occasionally have to deal with 10-foot waves on offshore races, not to mention the waves created by you and your competitors. We've also been messing around with the good old Hudson River, adding ramps and buoys for you to handle. Uh, so t tell me a little bit about this setting, because we are about to try and liberate yeah. a section of Hope So this County. is a small community, Falls End, and what you basically got here is that the cultists come in and they've begun this thing called the Reaping, where what they believe is that the end of the world is coming, and that what they need to do is save as many souls as they can, whether they want to be saved or not. So they come in, they take over the town, they begin to take people, they kill some people, and what you have to do is basically liberate that town and take it back. And when you do, it begins to open up other parts of the world and you can meet different characters and, and you begin to discover the open world. So he can attack it any way he wants. And what's cool though, as you can see, is that what he's able to do now with Boomer is he's able to tag everybody. But what's really cool about Boomer is once you set him loose, he really does become a weapon unto himself. And you can basically kill these guys and begin to take the weapons from them. Let's see what Max does. Are we consumed without purpose? And this is the cult on the yep, microphone, that's correct? that's the father. Mm -hmm. What he does is he actually, oh, he's just taking the guy down. So Boomer's kicked it off, and now he can send Boomer pretty much anywhere. I think the stealth, the stealth uh, section over. is over it's now. It's over, Boomer's We've uh, moved lit into it up. the new chapter. Yep. 
I like that the dog kind of decided when it was yeah. time for, uh, for yep. things to get. Always trust your dog. Up. And there's some gun emplacements here to, to make matters more fun. Yeah. So Max is gonna he's gonna tear it up. And you can see civilians civilians are actually getting out. I mean, you rescued a couple people just by being able to push back on the kelp. They're gonna get in vehicles. They're gonna act like normal people. They're gonna get the hell out of there. And then Boomer's gonna step in. Now reinforcements have showed up. So now you got to think about, all right, how do I spin that plate a little differently? How do I get it so all those guys that showed up in that kelp vehicle, maybe you can send Boomer in and basically try and take some of those guys out. If you had pulled your parachute in that very short jump, would anything bad happen? Okay, maybe we'll try it next time. I wasn't gonna let him kill you. Besides, who the hell is around here knows how to rebuild a carburetor? Okay. Just back up. Nice and slow. Don't make a sound. Truck, get in. place to call home. How will you build it? Work together to defend it. From the terror. Just outside the walls. you get hungry, cold, what risks will you take? What mistakes will you make? When the only family you've got is about to tear itself apart, will you end the life? Wait. Or save it? Please. This is our only one. 
but we need everybody we've got. No one gets a second chance. No! Where is your master? I don't deal with domesticated. Hey, the fuck? I ain't got no master, but I do have your little toy. Show me the idol. Show me the redeemer. Here you go, mate. Oh. Hey, Jim. Yo, 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 hand it over. I got a hot date. Don't do late. <laughs> Monkey's got a date. <laughs> Mwah. What? What, what? That's Swiss fucking chocolate, Pete. Bon appetito. I want every fucking cop in this fucking city <laughs> after that fucking Expanding the open world of Mordor to highlight some lesser known regions like Saragost and Kirith Ungol, Mordor is a massive living, breathing world filled with orc society, tribes, wildlife, as well as stories and secrets. You cleave me in two. Any other orc would have died, but I survived. More than that, I thrived. My brothers put me back together, stronger than ever. But they didn't make me into what I am. You did. You created the machine. No! We just got ambushed by the machine. He's cheated death and tracked us across Mordor seeking vengeance. He's from one of the seven orc tribes we've added to the Nemesis system. The machine will grind you to paint! I hate big sticks! Cool, finally! Instead of killing the machine, we're going to dominate him so we can take advantage of his abilities alongside drakes, grogs, and other beasts during the fortress assault. There are millions of ways to forge your story.
on the Sea of Thieves, and you can live yours however you want. So rally your crew. Swear your oaths and set sail for riches and infamy. Become a pirate of legend. Just try not to be this one. Scars down there. Oh, the scars have a heavy. Have time to use that mortar. <laughs> Give me some covering fire. There's a bunch more coming in. Okay, I'll get this round. <laughs> oh, come on. Be something good. Oh, yes! Jer's Wrath. Oh, nice. Large scale world events like Shaper Stories are dynamic and pull you off the beaten path with the promise of new stories to discover. Oh, Shaper Storm incoming. Okay. Actually, let's get some more people. Hold on a sec. Hey, guys, what's up? Hey, what's happening? I'm right behind you. Whoa. This storm is getting crazy. What are we supposed to do? Fly into it? All right, let's do this. See you on the other side. The Fortnite is filled with places to explore and loot to scavenge. Collect building and crafting materials while traveling across landscapes where no two are ever the same. You never know what you'll find or where you'll find it. Make sure to go inside buildings. Searching can pay off. Everything you collect can be used to protect yourself or help the survivors out there who need you. For protection from the storm, you and your friends will need to build forts. Use a variety of building pieces to keep enemies at bay and make a strong defense. Edit mode lets you customize pieces to fit your needs. Make doors or windows, or get more creative. Stronger materials like stone or metal will give your fort more staying power. Being able to build on the fly lets you respond to threats quickly and adapt when you need to. You didn't make all this just to watch it get knocked down. Defend your fort the way you want. Build sniper towers if that's your style. Or use all of the powerful traps you've crafted to make a maze of death that'll do the dirty work for you. When monsters do take a bite out of your defenses, you can repair and reinforce them during the heat of battle. Keep an eye out for weak spots, because the enemy sees them too. Use your imagination. Build the ultimate fort and use it to withstand all the bad things the storm will throw at you. With what you've harvested, you can craft hundreds of weapons, from melee to heavy arms. Make traps to set up the perfect surprise attack. Or use gadgets that will help you and your team. Manage your resources well and you can be fully prepared for whatever is headed your way. Your friends will help you succeed. Each hero is a specialized version of one of the basic types. Constructors, soldiers, outlanders, and ninjas. Each hero you collect comes with individual advantages that fulfill different roles on your team. Of course, constructors are skilled at building forts, but they also provide valuable crowd control. Primed for combat, soldiers bring grenades, as well as the big guns, and sometimes the biggest guns. Outlanders are the best at harvesting and have some unique tools at their disposal. Here is our gang of pirates, the Raiders, going head-to-head -head with a gang of rival players, the Cutthroats. 
Victory goes to the team with the most loot at the end of the hunt. Are we ready for a hunt? Knowing how to sail with the wind is a pirate's most precious skill. Use the winds to increase your speed or to position yourself for tactical advantage in battle. To reap the most rewards, it is best to split up, some going inland, others keeping to the open sea. Each warship has unique strengths. The frigate's hull is reinforced, its arsenal equipped with numerous culverin cannons. The brigantine is devastating up close, with a battering ram designed to break any resistance. The sloop of war kills from afar, with its crippling long-ranged mortars and precise long nine cannons. Sail! Flying hostile colors! Heavily reinforced hull, our frigate swoops in to save the day, bearing the brunt of the damage. taking aim at the frigate, and it will take team coordination to take her down. Fuego! Hold tight, lads! That ship's badly damaged! They are killing! We can take that ship! With the enemy ship's broadside now vulnerable, our frigate rushes in to board her. No quarter! Black and silver. Fancy snorting some fish, miss. <laughs> あのちょっとストレス状態になったりとか。逆に、えー、とモンスターが自分に向かっていくようなスーツっていうのもありますのでモンスターをある一定のところにおびき寄せたい時とかでも使えるスーツとかもあります。はい We have these new kind of suit items. They're like mantles. So the one you saw on the trailer is called the ghillie mantle. Right here, and yeah. Yeah, as you oh, okay, like this surmise, one, yeah. it lets you go into a little bit of stealth mode. There is a cooldown on it. You can't just have it on all the time. Okay, okay. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha, good. Find, find opportunity and hide from monsters. But we've also got the opposite. We've got one that lets you lure monsters towards you. So you've right. got different op options available to you for the strategy in the hunt this time around. And, yes. and multiplayer is so important to Monster Hunter. I mean, how are you guys approaching multiplayer this time around? あの、あの、大きな要素はマルチプレイですけど、はい、どういう仕様になるんですか。はい、あの、今回もですね、えっと、このクエストにはですね、最大4人まで行くことが可能になってて、もちろん、えっと、クエストに行くときに4人で一
Siwa, my home, the sacred oasis. Be my eyes, Senu. If the people see these dead beasts, they will surely revolt. <sighs> it is too dangerous. I will pass for now. Guide me, Senu. Betunamun. Don't screw this up. 